Youth gun violence has gripped the region and nowhere tighter than in Stowe Township and McKees Rocks, the Ohio River Valley towns known as Stowe Rocks. Last year, there were close to a dozen homicides there, and in just the past seven days, there have been two near fatal shootings, leaving neighbors and town leaders searching for answers. They spoke with KDK investigator Andy Sheehan. The problem is great and the answers are hard to come by. How to stop the violence of young people with guns. Another night, another shooting. A 15-year-old boy is expected to survive after being shot in the chest here at 9th and Benwood in Stowe Township. It was the second near fatal shooting in a week in a town where neighbors say gun play is a nightly occurrence forcing them inside. It's scary. My, my son's grown. I live by myself. Um, my neighbor downstairs, uh, we all try to look out for each other. We just go in the house because you hear the gunshots and we don't want to be victims of what's going on, but it is concerning and something needs to be done. But no one quite knows the answer. The two towns were the site of 11 homicides last year, six in McKees Rocks and five in Stowe. There have been two homicides in McKees Rocks already this year, but that doesn't reflect all the non-fatal shootings that neighbors say have become all too commonplace. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind, drugs is the number one issue, number one issue. The town's decline when industry left the Ohio Valley and township supervisor Robin Perilla says they've become a center for drug trafficking. Despite a shrinking tax base in recent years, Stowe doubled the size of its police force from six to 11 full-time officers. We beefed up our police force due to the fact that we're trying to make some hits on the drug dealers. That's a good thing, but it's not stopping the shootings. It's too many guns. We are up to our neck in trouble and the solutions are hard to find, especially with limited resources. Pastor James Hogan of the Faith Bridge Community Church says kids from the local housing communities easily fall into a culture of drug dealing and guns. When you seem to be bereft of hope, you don't have any future, maybe you've gotten into drugs or you've gotten into selling drugs, um, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty dire place. Now, both of these towns are trying to redevelop and bring jobs and opportunity back, but town leaders concede that answers are hard to come by. Reporting in Stowe Township, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.